Headlights aren't just functional. They're often the first design feature that catches the eye of a potential buyer. Unlike the metal and glass versions of the past, today's headlights are made of durable plastics that can be creatively molded into a multitude of shapes. In addition to the main beam, this pickup truck headlight has an integrated amber turn signal and daytime running light. Most of the headlight's components are made of injection molded plastic. The machine melts plastic pellets into a gooey liquid, then shoots it into a mold for the specific part. The headlight lenses are made of clear polycarbonate, a strong plastic that's resistant to extreme heat and cold. The molding process stresses the plastic. To relieve that stress, they put the lens into an annealing oven for 20 minutes. When the lens comes out, they wipe it down with an anti-static cloth and inspect the surface meticulously. Next, a robot sprays the lens with a protective coating. This will prevent scratches, chips, or yellowing from exposure to ultraviolet rays. They run the lens through a tunnel oven to cure it. This component is the reflector for the headlight's main beam. It's made of fiberglass reinforced polyester. They sand away any excess material. Then hand wash the part with soap and water to remove any polyester residue left by the sanding. Then they put the reflector into a machine similar to a dishwasher. A robot sprays on a coat of primer. It goes on clear, but turns yellow after it cures in an oven. Now comes the process that makes the reflector reflective. Inside an aluminizing chamber, a fixture rotates the reflector on its own axis, as well as around copper electrodes at the center of the machine. An electrical charge to the copper electrodes generates heat, which vaporizes an aluminum wire that's wrapped around a spiral tungsten filament. The aluminum becomes a mist that deposits evenly across the surface of the reflector. Now they assemble the headlight beginning with the housing. It's made of injected molded polypropylene. After installing the reflector for the daytime running light, they attach the main beam reflector. They include pivots and adjusting screws so that the beam level can be customized. They screw in the reflector for the turn signal. It's made of aluminized plastic. Then a robot applies a sealant, which prevents water, dust, and insects from penetrating the housing. They place the assembly in a lens bonding machine. Then they insert the main beam lens, which has already been joined to the turn signal and daytime running lights. The top of the bonding machine descends, securing these assemblies to each other with screws. Next, they screw in a halogen bulb for the main beam reflector. The bulb has two filaments for a high and low beam. Then they add halogen bulbs for the turn signal and daytime running lights. The last step is to level the main beam reflector. This leveling machine tells them which adjustable screws to turn to tilt the reflector into the correct position. This is the manufacturer's default setting. Automakers can change this before installing the headlights in their vehicles. This model hooks up to wiring coming from the pickup truck. Some headlights have built-in wiring that connects to the vehicle. It's easy to change a burnt out bulb in both designs. You simply lift the hood of the vehicle to access the bulb from the rear of the headlight housing.